it's hard to break into the industry. You know, you see these big companies like Nike and stuff and you think, okay, yeah, you're gonna make a lot of money if you can get with the right people filming, but those jobs are super hard to get and those are the kind of jobs that don't just become available all the time, you know. If you don't get a good job with a good company, I mean, you're basically looking at, you know, filming clips of homies and if one of their sponsors wants to use that footage. And you, you want the nutsack drawings? The Balbarian drawings? Yeah. Should we do Jeff Ross over the condom helmet? <laughs> An L sit? Invert? Is they only workshop tattoo? This one's I like because this is uh, Ernie McCracken bowling and a kingpin and he has a bowling balls. Yeah. He's bowling balls. Ernie, classic Murray. Some kid said I should do some Fortnite guy, and I don't know who this is, but I drew him. Oops. He wasn't as popular as, say, Ernie and Pinky in the Brain. Sure. If you have a hairy knob like that, you're probably in trouble, but... Did P-Stone too. This one's classic P-Stone. Amazing. Yeah, I like this a lot. <laughs> Some home improvement. You guys don't know who Wilson is, do you? Gotta go back in Tesla. And this one's funny too, this is a classic. Smoke at a pancake. Austin Powers. King and King and the Sting. I don't know who they were, some guys told me to do him too. King and the Foreskin. You know? Oh yeah. He, Exactly where the urine is, right, Skeeter? In uh, stock to Sierra. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Tell me who you are and where you're sitting. But yeah. My name is Christopher. I'm sitting in my Ram 1500 Pro Master that I turned into a little house. It's pretty neat. Surprised I didn't screw it up though. I had no idea what I was doing the entire time. So that's good that it panned out the way that it did. Do you know about how much time collectively it took? No, I watched uh, YouTube videos when I first got it. And it was like, people tell me they were doing it for 20 hours at a time and all this garbage. And it definitely didn't take me 20 hours. It was like four months. Four months of just like six hour days doing it. Because I didn't have a plan either. There was no plan. I just, my parents threw out their bedroom closet set and I took all this stuff from it. I like to, I'm gonna look in the camera, it's probably better, no? You can if you want. You better? Huh? Talking to you is better? Yeah, yeah, talk to me. So greedy. Um, I had to learn how to put wiring in, put my batteries and stuff in, in here, my battery there, and I finished everything, and when I connected the fan, it didn't work. So I was like, sweet, <laughs> I get to take it all apart, and, uh, but then my friend just told me to you switch the positive and the negative wiring around on the fans because it has multi-speed and it worked, which usually if you do that, apparently it shorts everything, but I, uh, wiring this mess in here, if you take a look in there, there's a big old monstrosity of wires in there that 
I think I know how to change them if something goes, but dealing with that was kind of uh, intimidating. And dealing with the solar, the solar, uh, all this stuff here is kind of intimidating. But just monitors the solar intake of the panels up there. And that goes through there and it goes into this, goes into that battery right there. Uh, I can monitor, I can monitor my uh, intake and stuff through Bluetooth from an app on my phone through there. And if I wanted to like put a uh, fridge or a stove or something, I got a 120 volt thing in there to plug into it. So, and I mean, I didn't know anything. And I did a, I had to put a, uh, on the other side, there's a smart battery isolator where it, I had to, still had no idea. I had to put it, uh, connect it from the, the van battery so that when the van battery is driving, it charges this thing. And then when I turn the van off, it severs the tie and then the, panels kick in and then wires the USB port here and some lights here some lights over there and the USB over there as well and uh, yeah but I think this was my uh, most satisfying achievement um, for this whole thing because if this thing didn't work I'd probably be in a lot of a lot more work to do. I don't even know how I would do, I mean, I could probably get it out, but it's a pain in the ass. Insulating was a pain, the worst though. Worst thing to do is the insulation. But if I had to do it again, I would do it different. It's a little fucking cabin, bro. Yeah, my dog bed. The two seats here with storage under it. Uh, I had to put these windows in. I hacksawed these windows out. First time I ever did that too. This is probably going to leak because I probably didn't use the right sealant on it. So that'll probably leak and ruin this whole roof. So that'll be good. I'm hoping it doesn't. I got to get up there and check because it's been six months. But. I had to put this window in. Insulating and framing the inside of the door was a nightmare. Because there was no where to go. I didn't want to come out. I almost came out right here. It's like a, you can kind of feel a screw there. I almost came out of it, but. Six and now what? Now you've just been on the road taking it around skating? I've been, yeah, driving up, well, it's winter time in Canada, so I just came down to skate, and this thing's a hot box down here. I put the fan in the wrong spot. I didn't know about ventilation stuff, so I should have put the fan back there. Because the windows are open, the fan sucks the air out, so the, the air would come through the van and out the back instead of just staying up here. So... The next one I'm doing, I gotta put it in the back and the windows in the front. Cause you're, I mean, when I'm sleeping, it's okay cause it's not too, but in the daytime, it's an oven. I got like storage unit in here kind of shit. Another solar generator. Here works. Got some more lights up there. I got all my clothes and shit in here. I got I got a bunch of uh, Ball Berry and Rodney Mullen nutsack stickers and uh, Mark Gonzalez Ball Berrians. This is OG Ball Berrians animal chin. 
and I got Weekend at Bernie's. What else do I got? I got a bunch of slime ball stickers that don't even make wheels small enough for me to ride, but I have them anyway. You know, that's how I do. Well, that's about it. Keep it minimal, boys, you know what I'm saying? The flooring was fucking pain in the ass. I was gonna do a, a dark stain up on the roof, but I didn't want to ruin it because it looked cool. So when I bought it, I stained the under sub flooring, the dark color, and it was disgusting. So then I just put this over top and uh, no one can tell. I, I feel like you'd want it to be lighter in here so when light hits it, it's brighter. Sideways on the bed. Yeah, dying. I'm Chris. Will you just shut that door for me? Come on, guys. That's a good idea, yeah. I, f I found him. I found this guy at the DMV. I don't know what the fuck it's for. This case. This house. What up? That's that stuff, right? Yeah. My brother helped me level the front of this thing an inch and a half because it comes, the vans usually come like tiered like that because they're work vans so they take a lot of pressure in the back. But, uh, we're going to get bigger all-terrain tires on it so I, I leveled it so it's level. Now it kind of looks like an armored car. We had to dremel the, dremel the wheel well right here so that this one would fit in. And then I easy lined the trim and it's just all flaking off. I should have rhino lined it. Yeah, the trim on there is terrible. I had to like MacGyver cut this thing because when you open it, it's so close to the thing. So when you get a factory new, if it like the first couple weeks, you could probably open your door and this whole piece will come off because it hits under here. Precision uh, manufacturing. Yeah, 200 watt panels running parallel. You got the 200 watts. Oh, they could use a bit of a clean. Should probably clean those things. They're looking mighty disgusting. Model, model while I'm doing the color. 
Yellow balance. Ooh. Yep. Hi, Tachi. How's the good song? Look at all of it. 